In today's video, I am going to be comparing two major layer ones for this crypto bull run. I'm going to be talking about the pros and the cons of each and which one I personally prefer. Some of you guys can probably guess. We're going to be talking about Casper and we're going to be talking about Sui. Two very, very different projects in terms of decentralization, in terms of kind of ecosystems and things like that. But both of them can do very well this bull run. And I'm going to be explaining why. Many of you guys may know, I personally am a maxi in terms of proof of work technology. Now, I think proof of work is the best in order to generate money. Now, that does not mean that I don't buy proof of stake coins because I still believe proof of stake coins can make people a lot of money. All you need to do is go and look at the crypto top 20 or even the crypto top 50, and you will find the vast majority of these well-known layer ones, the likes of Ethereum, the likes of BNB, the likes of Solana, are proof of stake layer ones. Now, that does not mean only proof of stake coins are going to do well. I do believe there's outliers to this law, right? There's exceptions to the rule. And I believe Casper to be that exception for this bull run. Casper is a proof of work project, not like proof of stake. Casper is very decentralized um, and you actually have to physically mine it. So I believe in terms of that outlier, in terms of that new revolutionary project that each cycle has, that is Casper. But in terms of kind of like an ordinary project that we've seen before, that's very scalable and is going to potentially have an extremely good ecosystem, Stewy would be my choice. Now let's actually get into some factors here of my kind of explanation for this. And um, we'll, we'll start off with Casper first and we'll go through some of the points in why I'm bullish on Casper. And then we'll go to Sui and we'll look at some of the points for Sui. And then we'll look at the potential market caps that each of these can hit. So like I said, Casper, very decentralized. It's also proof of work, unlike the vast majority of cryptocurrencies nowadays. Uh, it's a fair launch, 100% fair launch. So all of the tokens are allocated to the public. The founder is Jonathan Sompolinski, who we can find here, right? Um, you can see Jonathan Sompolinski. He went to Harvard University. He's the founder of the Ghost Dag Protocol. He's been cited by um, Vitalik Buterin, and he's also, I believe, in the Ethereum white paper. So a very well-known guy in the crypto space with extremely good credentials. Uh, Casper also has some other developers, right? Casper doesn't technically have a team because it's so decentralized. They call themselves developers, right? Or builders on, on the chain. Um, and you can see you've got Michael Sutton and Shai uh, Desh. These are the main guys behind Casper. Now, what type of narrative is being spun with Casper? The narrative around Casper is digital silver. This idea of Bitcoin being gold and Casper being the more portable version of a commodity, right? People also equate it to being like Bitcoin, but with a degree of scalability. And people also have um, the peer-to-peer -peer payments uh, narrative going on with Casper. The currency within the term cryptocurrency is clearly the case with Casper. Now, in terms of uniqueness, I would say Casper is a very, very unique project. It's the first ever Lock DAG. That in itself makes it incredibly unique. It's also the first cryptocurrency to solve the trilemma. Now, this isn't necessarily my opinion. You can prove this. Just get the three pillars of the trilemma, and Casper arguably solves it. The only way, in my opinion, to truly solve the trilemma, as we know, is to scale proof of work. And unfortunately, proof of work hasn't been able to scale until we had this block DAG consensus, right? because of the way how the blocks are shaped or because of the formation, right? Many, many transactions can be solved at the same time. And that is why Casper is the first project to truly solve the trilemma. Sui, Solana, Aptos, many of these proof of stake projects, yeah, sure, they're extremely scalable and sometimes extremely secure, but the fact that they're proof of stake, the mere consensus alone defies them from becoming a decentralized platform. Now, if we get into some price predictions for Casper, um, this is a bit of a funny one, but let's compare it to Dogecoin, right? Because Dogecoin was a proof of work meme coin and Dogecoin went to a 
33x of what Casper is currently, right? It went to an 88 billion market cap. So I think that's very, very possible for Casper to hit this bull run. Uh, if we look at Ethereum, which I would say is the long-term competition for Casper, that would be a 212x on your money. And if Casper went to Cardano's market cap from last bull run, uh, that would be a 35x on your money. So personally with me, I'm looking at around a 30 to 35x for Casper this bull run, right? Going to that Dogecoin to Cardano level. But then next bull run, that is the bull run where I really see Casper taking over because I truly believe Casper is one of the few cryptos that has actual longevity. Now, let's compare Sui to Casper. And we're going to go over the same points and compare Casper with Sui. Now, I said to you that Casper was very decentralized because of the fact it's a 100% fair launch and it's proof of work. Unfortunately, I do not consider Sui to be a decentralized project for that reason. Now, it could certainly be more decentralized than other proof of stake projects, but it simply cannot be fully decentralized purely because of the consensus mechanism. Um, Sui is proof of stake and it had a massive fundraising round of $385 million. Now, I said that Casper's a fair launch, and I said that that's a good thing. But it can also be a good thing if a project is heavily VC-backed. And if we look at Sui, for example, it raised $385 million, $49 million from the public sale, and $336 million from the funding rounds. Now, this isn't always necessarily a bad thing, because what it shows is the technology is desired. There's big money, there's big whales interested in buying into this narrative, interested in buying into this crypto. And if we look at some of those big whales, some of those big VCs that backed it, we've got the likes of Coinbase Ventures, we've got the likes of Binance Labs, Circle, and the infamous FTX Ventures. So the way how I see VCs is it's a double-edged sword. It can be really, really good in terms of allowing for marketing, allowing for a project to get on the big exchanges, and just really pushing it into um, the ether, really pushing it into the top kind of higher echelons of crypto. And we've seen many of them, right? The Solanas, the Avalanches, they're all very VC backed and they do quite well. But it can also be a downside um, if you've got some you know, corrupt VCs getting involved. Uh, and also it really does hurt the decentralization factor quite often. So it's a double-edged sword. I would try and make the argument here that it can be a good thing because facts don't lie. Look at the top 20 cryptos, look at the top 50 cryptos, the vast majority of them were heavily VC backed. Casper is just the exception. Like Bitcoin, Casper is the exception to this rule. Now, I don't see Sui as a potential global store of value or a global reserve currency. That's just never going to be the case. Sui is a smart contract platform. Casper, on the other hand, I could see as being a store of value. I could see as being a peer-to-peer -peer payment system because of the fact that it's 100% fair launched and proof of work. A lot of those same similarities that Bitcoin has, Casper also has. Sui, on the other hand, I would consider it to be more of a Solana killer, aiming to tackle Solana, aiming to maybe solve some of the issues that Solana has shortcomings on. Some of these could be um, actual transactional completion. If you look at the Solana chain, a lot of these transactions people are trying to make are failing. I think it's around 70%, something like that. Don't quote me on it. But a lot of the, uh, the Solana transactions initially fail. This cannot be good for a chain. Also, Solana has network outages. Um, there's brief moments where you literally cannot trade on the network at all. This is another shortcoming of Solana. Now, don't get me wrong. Solana is a lot better than Ethereum, but it's still not a perfect chain. Let's say Ethereum is like a 4 out of 10 as a chain. Maybe Solana is a 6 or a 7 out of 10. We still haven't had that 9 or 10 out of 10 project in the crypto space yet. Now, even if Sui doesn't actually solve the issues of Solana, the narrative is still going to be there, right? Even if Sui itself had transactional failure or network outages, it's still going to be a viable alternative to Solana because every single time that Solana has issues, people are going to look to alternative chains. The same way as last bull run, every time Ethereum had high fees, people were looking at alternative chains. BNB was doing well, Cardano was doing well, Solana was doing well. So these narratives are always going to be there. There's always going to be this idea 
of a killer, a Solana killer, an Ethereum killer. These things are always going to be there, guys, because these chains are not perfect. Now, in terms of competition and uniqueness, I would say that Sui is in a very saturated space. It's comp competing with many big giants such as Aptos, such as Say, and um, it's not necessarily absolutely unique as a project. Sure, it has unique technology, but it doesn't necessarily have the same uniqueness as Casper in the fact that it doesn't fully solve the trilemma. And it's not the first block DAG or the first proof of stake coin, right? It's kind of in the same consensus that we've seen a lot of other cryptos. But within that consensus, that massive consensus of proof of stake, I would consider SUI to be the best investment option. There's so many different options out there. But if you look at the fundamentals for SUI, if you look at the amount of VC backing, if you look at the fact that they're putting emphasis on gaming, if you look at the team, right, which I'm going to get up right now. So for the Sui team, we've got these guys here, right? But if we look a bit deeper, you've got 10 years experience at Apple. This guy is a head of research and development at Novi, technical director of Meta. Some of these uh, expertise are incredible. These aren't just random guys, you know, just like a random computer scientist at Apple. These are high up positions. So I really do believe in this team. I really believe in the project and also the ecosystem of Sui. It's got one of the best upcoming ecosystems out of the layer one cryptos out there. There's a lot of projects coming to build on SUI, a lot of gaming projects coming to build on SUI. And if you look at the transactional volume, it's also right up there in terms of other well-known layer ones. So if we look at some um, price targets for SUI, I would say Polkadot is a very fair one. That would be a 26x on your money to Polkadot's all-time high. And if we had Avalanche, that would be a 14x to Avalanche's all-time high. So I'm looking for around a 10 to 20x on SUI, right? 10 to 25x on SUI, I think is really reasonable. And then for Casper, I'm looking at a 10 to 40x, okay? More of a higher potential with Casper, but... Casper doesn't have a big ecosystem, right? Casper isn't going to have a big ecosystem until smart contracts comes out. But I've always said smart contracts for Casper is the cherry on top. Casper really needs to emphasize on the fact that it's the best peer-to-peer -peer payment solution we have ever had to mankind, right? And I know that's a bold statement, but I believe Bitcoin was potentially one of the best that we've ever had, right? It's better than gold. It's certainly better than fiat. And Casper takes a lot of those same things of Bitcoin and makes it scalable. So I know it's a bold statement to say Casper is the best currency ever. But if you look at the metrics of judging a currency, I think Casper is definitely right up there. So my overall verdict is both of them are great projects, right? Very, very different projects. It's not really a very fair comparison in terms of fundamentals. But the reason why I'm making this video is because these are the two main layer ones that I'm going to be holding for the bull run. I sold all of my Ethereum, I sold all of my Solana, and I put it into Casper and Sui, because I think these two have the potential to drastically outperform the likes of Ethereum and the likes of Solana. Don't get me wrong, Ethereum and Solana are still going to do very well this cycle, but I'm looking for 10 to 50x on my layer ones. I'm not looking for just a 3x or just a 2x, right? That's why I hold a lot of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is my 2x. Bitcoin is my 3x. I don't need to hold kind of a, a higher risk layer one in order to do that. So ultimately, I think Casper is the better and the safer option, but both of them can do very well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do recommend that you go and join my private community. It's linked in my description. If you want to talk about these cryptos, if you want to hunt for new cryptos, this is the best place to be. It's a very, very active community. And obviously, within this group, you can actually talk about these cryptos. You can talk about Casper, you can talk about Sui, and many other cryptos which I hold, right? Some of which are secret low-cap gems, which I've never really talked about too much on my YouTube channel. So if you want to go and, you know, track my buy alerts, track my sell alerts, and join a community of many like-minded investors... This is the best place to be in cryptocurrency. I recommend that you guys go for my VIP plus tier. If you cannot afford that, a very good entry tier is the elite tier. This is going to be going down very, very shortly. And for those of you who want to aim for multi-millions as bull run, I do recommend the mentor tier as you can get privatized one-to-one -one help and feedback from myself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. 
And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.